I never said that Messi Ching was charges 10 million naira. And I never said that a paying gospel artist is wrong. Never made any of those assertions. So I was actually teaching on, um, on I think it should be that the reading was from Acts chapter, is it five or six? When the early church, when they were having the problem of sharing food, mm. yes. whether that the widows of the Hellenists complained yes. that they were own were neglected. So what did the apostle do? They asked the brothers to choose um, those um, uh, deacons, six in number, right? Amongst them. Uh, amongst them, filled with the spirit, who should concentrate on taking care of sharing mm. food and all of that, so that the apostles can concentrate on preaching the word mm. and prayer. And uh, my reflection is that the early church had a strategy in dealing with the material needs of the people. Basic one is feeding. You know, I said they did not gather. That means there were poor people in that church. Mm -hmm. And to cater for the needs of these poor people, the apostles did not gather them to do prosperity, deliverance, or whatever on them. Mm -hmm. The apostles found a strategic, um, they, they took a strategic action which is getting those who are blessed materially to contribute, right? Mm -hmm. And then have some people feel with the same Holy Spirit that the apostles feed could share this food. So I say that to take care of the vulnerable in our churches, in our midst, means that we must also adopt a strategic action. And if you read uh, Acts chapter 4 or Acts chapter 2, the Bible will tell you that nobody among the early Christians was in need. Why? It wasn't because anybody prayed or laid hands or anointed them. He said it was because they all brought what they had together. Mm. And from there, those who were in need were given what they wanted. You know, nobody was in need. And I'm like, that was the poorest church. The Acts of the Apostles Church is the poorest church materially, as far as material wealth mm -hmm. is concerned. And our own church in our generation, we are the richest church ever. Historically, yes, we are the richest church. And I'm like, how come that the poorest church could take care of those basic needs of their members, but the richest church, we still have members of the church who go to bed, you know, um, hungry and stuff like that. I'm like, so what do we, why are we not doing what the rich, uh, the poorest church could accomplish? And I'm like, it's because there are some factors. Number one, I mentioned selfishness. Then number two, I said, we have a Christianity expensive. And I accused myself first, the church where I come from. I said, I apologize, we've done that. We build expensive churches. You know, we use uh, expensive gadgets and all of that. Then, and I mentioned the issue of bringing musicians. And I was like, if I have to bring a musician of Mesichimo status to my church here and now, how much will it cost me? I said, how much do they charge? I, I said, is it? Five million or three million, then somebody said ten million from the congregation. <laughs> then I was surprised. I said, Oh, has he reached ten million? <laughs> you know, it was a surprise. I said, So it has reached ten million and all of that. But I did not um I did not authenticate that claim. You know, I just say, Oh, has he reached ten million? And I'm like, you see, and the point I made is that but we have local musicians in the church, and uh, I said that um if does it have to take a Mesichimu or like the new song that Ima has released now that we are hearing and we are feeling the impact? Does it have to take Ima to go to any particular place to sing that song before you guys could experience the anointing or the power from that song? That was a rhetorical um, question. And I'm like, I even went as far as saying, and some people are arguing, should we pay them? And I said, how can you not pay them? And I was speaking from the background of somebody who is also into music and know what it costs. I was like, how can you not pay them? You have to pay them if you bring them. But my point is that there are things I feel we are doing that are very um, uh, expensive that could be, you know, cut down for the sake. As long as the need for basic uh, uh, material needs of people are there, there are some things we must you know, so to, so, so to say sacrifice. And I use our Catholic Church as an example. That if you come to the Catholic Church, the costly church should be the cathedral, yeah. right? Yeah. And every other church should be modest. I don't think that any church should compete with the cathedral in any diocese. For as long as you have members who are still struggling with basic needs, education, and all of that, we should build moderate churches, cut down on building expensive churches, then use the other money for 
um, you know, for humanitarian needs. So that, that, that was the background to this whole thing and all of that. But it now uh, made me remember that this is an issue we, have, we need to talk about extensively. So the first question I want to ask you, Father Shane, and then Emma, is this. Um, should ministers, let's not even come to musicians yet, should ministers in the church be paid when they minister? Should ministers be paid when they go for, uh, you know, ministration anywhere? Father Shane, let's start with you. <laughs> okay. So when I when I saw, I at first I didn't see it actually. I saw it from bloggers yeah. that uh, your controversial. <laughs> that it was not controversial. No? <laughs> yeah. The way the way bloggers took it. So I I had to go to check to see the video myself and to listen to it. And then I got the background. I think there was a place you said that if there's any church that there's one member who cannot afford a square meal yes. a day, you know. So I, I looked at that and I as I saw the message in what part. Now the thing is that talking about ministers, me I would like to narrow it down to gospel uh, ministers because if you say ministers now like you, you're yep. also a minister. Yep. If they invite you to a church, do you charge? <laughs> and all that so i think i have to narrow it down to gospel ministers because that was the basis of whatever controversy had emanated from okay. from that your discussion I, of course you have answered the question they should be paid they should be paid you know because music is expensive we have established that music is expensive a lot of things are involved you know you don't come to sing in a church just like that you know you have a group of people whom you come with and you necessarily have to take care of them and all that but then the question is how much that's the issue you know that's what i think we should be talking about how much but i have always said that to the extent that anybody can afford a gospel musician if he goes to a place to sing be it a church or anywhere if they can afford 20 million naira. I have no problem if they can pay him 20 million naira and all that and if if it is that he says necessarily anywhere i go it has to be so so amount of money that's where i have a problem with okay because so you have a problem with the minister himself as a giving a fixed amount because uh, over the years i've related with them I've related with them, and i know I've invited him for my event. Like last year, he was there for my event. I didn't give him a dime. I give him a dime. So, and Solomon Lange as well, and many others. Chris Moore, many others. But when it is that he says, whether in a village or anywhere, with that okay so in my let's mix let's move to you so uh, we will call uh, first um ministers yeah. let's 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 agree that's yes, what we we're yeah, discussing that's... in our local churches yes should they be Now we have choir who have go singing in their sense. But when you come to a lot of things are truth, the better for us to see how we can, you know, present it. When God, of course, good production in the studio. No matter how you are fasted, 
don't have money to pay for it. at a professional level at that point you can't just it must be well produced it must be well made. take some of our town to abroad to go and make money to give us to do this when investment semester this topic is very is, is is big it's not yes. something that anybody will hear and say why are they charging mm -hmm. there are things you don't know that has i just shot a video like spent over two million to shoot mm -hmm. that's just one then after then you need to go and promote the song you need to promote the audio you need to promote video then you need to go to digital stores they will call boom play pacifiers audio mark those guys for you to pitch your song you pay in dollars so people need to understand that it costs so much for us to equally promote what the gift God has given to us. Yeah. And to equally tell you that God is equally happy because the Bible said that you, 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 your gift will make room for you. A laborer is worthy of his wages. Mm. This is one of the things that the gospel has given you. God has given you a gift. He has paid you for your gift and your talent to be able to make room for you. And when you say room, of course, he tells you feeding yourself. If I'm doing mm. music and the music cannot feed me professionally, then I don't think I should keep doing it. I shouldn't yeah. stay to promote the work God has given to yeah. me. So, but like you said, every church have their standard. Yes. If you cannot bring the lives of in my honest, you cannot bring a uh, Miss Chungo, you cannot bring a uh, Solomon Lange. There are people who you can pay, uh, probably who cannot. Who pro I started, I, when I started doing music, I wasn't collecting money because I've, I've not started mm. investing into it. You get so we need to understand this. I've gone to churches for free mm. because one, I don't have a team, I'm just one man squad. I just yeah. get a loan, yeah. I raise my hand. I do but now, nah, music professionally, you need like if I need to go for a program, I go with my. I want to go to live persons. Mm. So those guys don't understand what you go through. All they know is that you give them you money give because them. they must have yes, paid you. Yes. So we need to understand the background before we probably conclude from the friends that these guys are starting the church, they're collecting so much money. We have a team and the team have to be paid. Mm. We have a we have a we have a sound video audio, it has to be promoted. And when God gives you the expression, you have to go to the studio to record it. Okay, so um I'm gonna take both of you on this and I'm gonna push you further before I read some scriptures from the Bible. So from what you are saying, the basis for gospel music ministers, you are particularly on gospel music ministers, mm -hmm. the basis for um for justifying either their payment or their charging is that um, it costs them a lot to produce that thing that people are craving mm -hmm. or clamoring for, and, you know, for. And if they don't get such money from the churches or the places they minister, it means that they will not even be able to, to do what they are doing. Yeah. Do. Yeah. Okay, now, <clears throat> I asked that question, I want to make it general because I'm going to even push you further on the... Um, a, a, a more a controversial issue. We are going to uh, even have to talk about whether gospel musicians and ministers should you consider them uh, ministers and on what um, basis. Now, this is an open discussion, like I said. We will not make uh, conclusions, but we are just adding our own, own insight. Should ministers be paid? If you go to the Bible, there are two major responses. Okay, if you read uh, Matthew 10 from verse 8 to 9, Jesus said, freely you have received, mm -hmm. freely you should give, right? Then you go to, um, uh, let me read so that you can have, I don't want to just say it um, by heart. Uh, let's just take some scriptures. 1 Corinthians 9, 18 to 19. 1 Corinthians 9, 18 to 19 says, what then is my reward? Just this, that in my proclamation I may make the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my rights in the gospel. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I might win more of them. Yes, St. Paul is, is talking about, even though he has rights to be paid or to be supported materially by the people he is ministering to, he decided not to use um, that right. All right. So I want to see this following with Matthew. Then let's go to Second Thessalonians chapter three, seven to seven to ten. Yep. Yeah? Second Thessalonians three. Okay. Second Thessalonians three, seven to ten says, 
for you yourselves know how you ought to imitate us. We were not idle when we were with you, and we did not eat anyone's bread without paying for it. But with toil and labor, we worked night and day so that we so that we might not burden any of you. This was not because we do not have that right. But in order to give you an example to imitate, that is this and Paul talking in Second Thessalonians um, 37. Then Acts chapter 20, 33. Just be patient. Uh, I want to establish um, something here. Acts 20, 23. Okay. Acts chapter 20, 33 to 35. It says... <clears throat> I, cover, I coveted no one's silver or gold or clothing. You know for yourselves that I work with my own hands to support myself and my companions. In all of this, I've given you an example. So this for me is one aspect of the response to remuneration in ministry. The other aspects, let's go to... Um, let's go to... Um, first Timothy chapter 5 it is this is the same Saint Paul though. then in first Timothy chapter 5 this is what he has to say about that first Timothy 5 17 to 18 yeah he says let's start from verse 17 he says, let the elders who rule well be considered worthy of double honor especially those who labor in preaching and teaching for the scripture says you shall not muzzle an ox while it is treading out the grain and the laborer deserves to be paid the laborer deserves to be what paid and all that so if you go through the bible it seems to me like the two options are available that's why i should ministers be paid the bible never says ministers should not be paid the first sessions i i read uh, where jesus said freely you have received freely you have given freely <coughs> you should give the same jesus we say that whatever has you enter eat what he eat said what before you said. that the laborer deserves his wages there's a paul who will say even though i have the right to be paid i decided so for paul not collecting money wasn't because it was wrong for him to collect money he decided, he decided because he had a handwork mm -hmm. and all of that mm -hmm. and stuff like that. so so you can see that the bible has those two options and all of that and i think i want to leave it open just like father Sheyin said that um, if you are a gospel uh, music minister uh, let's say a rich church invites you it is expected that they should be able to pay you something that covers all the expenses you make and of course, since that has become your your profession. your profession, your source of livelihood, you should have something and live by, live with yes. you. that you yes. live by. Yes. yes. Then, if perchance Father Sheyin's poor church advice, <laughs> <laughs> I don't love that, you know. <laughs> if you are able to afford to go without collecting anything or yeah. something yeah. little, you should do that. Yeah. Where he says you have problem, which I I do agree. Is if somebody makes a fixed amount and says I'm taking just two million or three million no matter where which means that churches that can't afford you can never Have experience you, yes. uh, i think we are we are on the same page on this another so but my question is going to be to you guys um do you consider a professional gospel music artist a minister but I shouldn't let's start with you. Ah, why are you always starting? Yes, well, because you're, you're, you're closer by my side. <laughs> okay, of course they are ministers. You, you, have, you have said it from all the scripture that you've, you've read from. They are ministers to the extent that uh, they go and what they do privately is to minister to souls through songs. Through songs, whether or not they are paid like we have established it's not a problem even from scripture you know so they are ministers and uh, as far as i'm concerned as far as the gospel is we when we are talking about the gospel you cannot actually pay for any encounter completely for any encounter that you have you cannot pay for any spiritual encounter mm -hmm. that's that's the way i see it you cannot pay for any spiritual encounter 
and whatever spiritual encounter people have is dependent on God. Exactly. So, so you cannot actually pay for that. So they are ministers to the extent that God uses them to touch lives, whether or not they are paid, like I said, is another thing. Okay. And we have established from scripture that it's not the problem. You understand yeah. that they receive money and all of that. And I've said already that if it is that they say, okay, this is the amount, no matter what, whether a village church or a village church. So it means that you say it's only big churches that I will be ministering to. And that's the problem. That's where I have a problem. Okay. You know. So gospel um, artists and ministers in Father Shein's um, estimation. Emma? Yeah, it, you are um, a professional gospel Yeah, I've, I've gone to Pastor <coughs> Shein. Said some, I've gone to his church and I, I came to I came with some of my team members and uh, I did not tell him because uh, Monis is coming with his team he must give me two million I know what I if I need to give you my right that okay I'm okay with my team I know what that cost is because I need to pay them but I didn't do that because I have a relationship with him most times at a professional level too when you have a relationship with artists is easier because relationship will come in I have to take some pens. I have to probably use my money to take care of him because it's, it's for the shade that's calling me. Now, but the thing is, whether you're a professional um, artist or you're just doing it to your local church, you're a minister. Uh -huh. The person who, who sweeps your church, let's even start there because that name, minister, we make it look like it's one big name. Okay. The person who yeah. cleans the church, okay. who cleans your table, is ministering All to right. God's people. All right. Who is a minister? Minister is somebody who who minister, who offer, uh, will I say, scripture services in the house of God. So the person who sweeps the church, who cleans the table that the man of God uses, is equally serving in the house of God. So, but the, 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 but the point, the reason why uh, so, sometimes it sounds as if we're, we're having issues with this stuff because at every level God has placed you on, there are, there are, there are, there are, there are prices you pay. There are prices you pay. So, for me, of course, you have you read like four different scriptures here, and all of them pointed to the fact that you have the right to either uh, accept or do it because you want to do. But probably you have something to do that can take care of that. Mm -hmm. I've gone to a church, not some like like two years ago. I've, I went to like two churches, and I ministered. A man gave me, I'm not going to call the figure, of course, over half a million. I I, I know the man very well. And as I was going there, the Spirit of God told me to give that man back the money. Huh. And the, the reason was because he told me that this man struggled to raise this money to give you. Huh. I'm telling you what happened. My team, I went with my full team, and the man gave me over, I'm not, I don't, I don't know, over half a million. Huh. And I went to the church, ministered to people, of course, people worship, and like you said, you cannot, you cannot quantify, God can use anybody to minister to you. And you cannot pay the service or the anointing or the ministry of God. You cannot pay him back. So the man came and gave me a very fat envelope. And I had that voice. Give him back that money. And my team was just, all of them were just looking at me because they feel that they don't know your encounter yeah. with God. The only concern yeah. is that I've gone with you. We've gone yeah. for programs. Yeah, or God, you. give us what belongs. Give us yes. our wages. You know, so I had that voice. And I handed that money. Say, Sir, the Lord told me to give you money back. The man said, no, 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 I said, that is what I, I rather, I rather disobey you than disobey God. I gave him more. So when I told him, I saw all the, all my media guys, all of them looking at me, my team guy. I said, what happened? Don't worry, I'm going to give you your money. Mm -hmm. So I entered my car, I said, hey, transfer the money one after the other, what I'm supposed to give them to them. Because I had the voice, one. Secondly, I can afford it. So if I hear a voice and I cannot afford it, what will I do? I rather, probably, you have to disobey God at that point because you must give them the money. Mm. The reason why probably it was easier for me to obey the voice of God that because I can afford it to mm. give them what is theirs. So the point is that it's not every time that we have gone for program that we have charged millions. Mm. Sometimes relationships have come in, and sometimes you only hear ministers, music ministers hear they hear God. Probably God have told them don't collect money for this event, do it free. So we have gone to programs that we have done free, and nobody said <coughs> why did you do it free. Okay, so the point I've got from both of you unequivocally is that gospel ministers, professional gospel ministers, um, artists, they are ministers. But as Shane says, God uses them to, you know, <coughs> minister to people. And Emma, you even took it, uh, a, 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 you know, stretch further. You said even somebody who sweeps in the church yes. is ministering yes. because yeah. she's doing something that yeah. 
benefits others uh, that God is using uh, in uh, in in our heart. Today. I think uh, the 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 discussion is getting quite interesting, and I hope that uh, Solomon Lange joins us uh, before we eventually um, uh, runs um, you know this up. Okay, so that means that um, <clears throat> professional gospel singers and ministers. So that means that the responsibility on the ministers of the gospel is also on their shoulder mm -hmm. if we establish that mm -hmm. that they should be spiritual enough to know when to take mm -hmm. and when to say no keep mm -hmm. meaning that money should not uh, money is necessary mm -hmm. but not the essence but not the essence yes. of um, of the administration yes. it shouldn't determine yes. that if they have the ability to even sponsor themselves to certain places where they are needed you know to minister without collecting they should be able to do that yeah. isn't yeah. it right okay um i'm sure so for some people it will be a new thing for them today as they are getting um to learn all right um <clears throat> should a gospel um song minister be invited to minister in a sunday worship of another church What's the reaction to that? You see, if <coughs> taking notes, start, remember that we, yes, of course, I'm going to start with you. Take cognizance that this church they have their own music yes, uh, ministers, yes. be it choir or a band group and all of that. So, should a, a, a special what I'm saying is especially the professional one should they be invited to? You know, minister you know in a, on a on a normal Sunday. Okay, uh, but, but you know church. that if we are to talk about it, it does not apply to the Catholic Church at all. Yeah. So it yeah, take good. take into it context <laughs> both Catholic Church and then this. Thing. Just take it's into good context. Because I imagine uh, before consecration, I'll invite him that we are <laughs> that we are inviting him to come and minister. So, you so it's general. I'm, yes. Yes. Uh, of course. Of course. I don't know whether I have to say more about that. But of course now, they should go to church to minister. They are ministers. They go to church to, uh, so they should be invited. And it is to the extent, I, as I have said already, to the extent that they can afford, any church that can afford them, or even reaches out to them, and they can go wherever, you know, they can go minister on Sundays. But, but if, okay, yes. yeah, you, have, you have already identified that this man not necessarily cannot work in the Catholic Church, yes, right? Cannot. In you know, other yes. Christian mm. so churches, it's important that I that. say that. Yeah, and it is good that when we are having a discussion like this, it is good that we don't use our background mm. completely mm. as because Catholics, yes, yes, yeah, because to analyze context what, are different. Yes, the context okay. are different. Yeah, and the context perception are different. too. Okay, completely different. Yeah. Okay, so Ima, let's go to you. Should a gospel uh, song minister be uh, invited to minister in another church that is not his or her own? On Sunday morning. On a Sunday, yes, normal Sunday. Yeah, so the Bible says we should go ye into the world um, to preach the, the gospel. So um, I don't think we should be confined in the four works of our church. And moreover, what is church? Church are the people of God. Not What makes a church is not um, because it's a Catholic church or it's a Pentecostal church. The church is the people. The people are the church. Mm. So um, another thing is that we need to uh, get to a point where we need we don't have to put some segregation on the. Um, uh, this is our church. This is my church. Mm. For every, we have a president. The president governs everybody in Nigeria. So whether you, are, of course, the Muslim president, whether you're Christian or a Muslim is your president. So we need to equally bully, bully a roof from there that as long as you're a Christian, as long as you're a music minister, you have the responsibility to, to proclaim the word of God yes. to the world. Mm -hmm. So being on Sunday, they, they, probably if I need to understand what you're saying, if you are engaged in your church, if you have a function to do, maybe a music minister, they want to take a worship section in your church, should I leave my church and go to another church because my church is not going to pay me to Amen. go and collect money? But it makes probably it makes more yeah, sense to me. But sense. at the same time, if you can talk to because at the professional level, the reason why people want to be called that is song they are hearing or they've heard, they want to hear you sing it. Whether we like it or not, I don't release a song, show up. Father um Father Loma, there's no how you can sing that song better than me. Because it's me, God gave that song. No matter how you rehearse it, if I take a mic, I will deliver it more than you because. 
it, the anointing, the grace for that son came by God through me. So the reason why you, the church can invite you to come to that church on Sunday, not that the choir cannot send that song, but the one, the person that God, the vessel God used, the grace God used to bring that's probably the one that person to deliver that song. Thank you. So <laughs> let me, so let's go, let's go deeper. Yeah. So I was going to ask, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if another person rehearses your song mm. and sings it in the church, yes. are you implying that the grace or the blessing or the impact the spiritual um uh, the spiritual um impact of that song that it will not be felt by the same by the people if another person who is no, that's person, not what i said mm. okay if that's, that's not what, what i said, said so mm. what is the necessity of the professionalism of the delivery the 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 professionalism the of course you don't have no matter how everyone who can sing the song that God has given you even more than you in terms of delivery. Of course, um, of, as long as you're a child of God, God has given off the, the God has given off different kinds of grace, different levels of grace. So I'm not saying you can't minister it, you can't be better, people are not going to be blessed. That's what I'm saying. I'm only saying the reason why a church wants to bring you to come and sing the particular song that the choir members have been singing, because they feel that they want the vessel God gave that song. To deliver the song i'm not talking about the blessing mm. i'm not saying there's no blessing attached to it mm. when somebody is singing it. no that's what i'm saying of course any any time you raise your hands to sing mm. any any time people of god gather and somebody raises hand to sing god's presence is there mm. as long as you call you call god's name is there no matter who is singing whether you are the one they gave the song or you're the one that stole the song as long as god's name is mentioned his name is glorified so on that, that so that's why i am asking this question is still Needs to that question still needs to ask if God can use anybody to minister any song effectively. In fact, there are even statistics that are banned that sometimes the 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 call it the remixers or the people who are singing a song they did not compose mm -hmm. are even singing it better than those who originally performed the song. Let me give you an example: the Hallelujah chorus. Mm. I'm not sure Handel can sing that song. He composed it yes, the way a choir yeah. sings it, right? Mm -hmm. And then most of the songs we have in Christendom, all of those traditional songs, Amazing Grace, mm -hmm. How Sweet the Sound, mm -hmm. they were written by somebody who probably never even had the opportunity to minister it in a, a worship scene. But we have choirs, we have individuals who are ministering with those songs and God is going to bless people so which establishes the fact that the person who renders the song does not necessarily have to be the original professional composer and singer in the uh, the person who did it in the studio god can use any other person. so if god can use even the local choir choir there what then necessitates bringing the artist who professionally did it now let me come here the, the levels of you can't compare. Like, why are you living in my uh, no in my <laughs> <laughs> you can't, Ima, you can't, you can't Ima, compare. Your, seems to be very <laughs> active. You can't compare and your choir member. Yeah, you yeah. can't compare your, 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 the level of professionalism in your choir member and somebody who who is into music professionally. You, you can't be compared. Okay, let me equally answer. If somebody is doing the remiss of I did a song, you carry me when song. There is somebody if somebody sat down. I want to remiss that song. The person want to want the reason why the person want to remiss because probably want the person want it faster or want it slower and want to probably add more part or add more what whatever he wants to add to make the song to embellish the song. It because the person have been able to see the loopholes over time to us to embellish it. So it means that there's something you are seeing that you are seeing the particular sketch that you want to add flesh to it. So you sit down, you have over time. If I want to remiss a song. I look at the original version of what, what I've done and see how I can make it better. Remissing the song is to make it better. Mm. That's the essence of remissing the song. Mean that you have seen someone's work and you sat down, thought about it, or how would I make this thing sound better than the person that did it? That's actually the essence of remiss. It will bring another sound. Now, I'm not saying if for what if you want to hear the professionalism in a song, the professional part of a particular artist delivering a song. If your choir members which should, cannot be able to deliver it. I'm not talking about somebody who is just singing for singing's sake. I'm talking about somebody who understands what it means to do music professionally. 
it can be compared with your choir members. So, so um, I could I could comfortably, unless I am otherwise convinced, I could comfortably say that um, <clears throat> you are looking at it from a professional point of view. Yes. Nobody can sing that song like the person who originally has yes. it. But it does not necessarily mean that that yeah, person that's ministering yes. that song makes it more effective spiritually nah. mm. than another person. Nah. Okay, now which is where I want to uh, you know put my foot down um, you know to still uh, you know quiz um, quiz the, the 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 propensity or let's even call it the habit of trying to um, you know bring the the artist himself uh, you know to the church and all of that. I'm still a little bit suspicious of that act sometimes i feel like maybe the person who is trying to bring the artist isn't really about the spiritual valency of the song it could be for other things stardom could play a role there yeah? if somebody reads in my church bulletin or this in that uh, uh Onis is coming to perform you carry me when some carry their god already you know uh Ima is a celebrity his name carries uh, this maybe it might want to move somebody else from another church mm. You know to come to church mm. because of him. <laughs> you know so there is some subtle advertisement mm -hmm. to that there is some subtle um, entertainment to that which if you probe further you might find in the mind not in the man's mind now he might is coming as a gospel um the person minister in, the person inviting you yes mm. he's coming as a gospel minister and his own intention is pure to come and do what minister but the person who is inviting you probably has another intention. ulterior this is hidden okay. um, mm. intention which is why we must you know keep um you know um scrutinizing our motives you know you know you need to ask why are you bringing this in so to f to round up this briefly um are we having uh, i think we're going to open the phone lines because i know people may want to call and they have not even finished this in. to round up this now Emma. so like the this thing I gave about uh, Messi Chingo, Jesus, you love me too much, you too mm. much. You. I said, yes. If I another person that. sings that song with the love that Jesus that Jesus <laughs> loves us, <laughs> is it going to reduce? No, at all. It, it would. It would. <laughs> okay. So now that um um that takes me to um um this is so you have answered that someone else could actually minister a song that he or she didn't write with the same effect or even more. Um, spiritually that possibility um, is there and I think that um, uh, brings me to this last question should a poor church what I mean poor church now I mean it doesn't mean that they can't raise that fund but to raise it is going to take them something mm -hmm. probably even um, 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 you know uh, make them put pressure on someone if for instance a man you're coming to my church and we and I have agreed on 1.5 million, mm -hmm. which is a modest thing. You're going to ask, you know, having taken consideration of your logistics mm -hmm. and all of that. And I, I serve in a church that barely gets up to 100,000 a Sunday. Mm -hmm. So for me to raise that 1.5 million, I have to <laughs> do some serious fundraising on the people, <laughs> get them and all of that in order to invite. Mm -hmm. uh, the, should a poor church go to that length? To invite a gospel uh, minister in. It depends. Like I said, um, Father Sheya has invited me. Has invited almost all the artists you know their name in Abuja here. And if you ask him, probably here or in the closer, he will tell you that none of them charged him because there's a relationship. And if we have to charge you to bring our team, he probably, I know where his church is, he probably um, couldn't probably at that time will not afford it. Mm -hmm. Uh, for me, I don't think um, um, any church. Advertising my poverty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think my any church <laughs> that is not capable of bringing a particular artist. Like I said, there are levels. There are lev I, whether we like it or there are levels to this. Yeah. Because of the investment you put in. If I want to go for program, if I want to go for program in, in Benin or in Port Portacourt, I need to fly eight man band. Yeah. That mm. is that, that's yeah. like just say, including me, should be like about one point something million alone on flight so if you want me to deliver where you want me to call my team i will give you the rider that are going to be eight including me that's the, the least eight including me nine means that we we'll have to spend one point something million for flight alone. Mm. Yeah. so the thing is that it, every church will be able to cut their 
the materi not even the code, the material you have, okay. the money you have, is it enough to take care of? So is it enough the, this, the material you have is it enough to sew the cloth that will fit into what you want to wear? If you are not capable, the Bible said there is time for everything. Okay. If you are not capable of um, taking taking care of a particular, it's not because the artist is actually expensive. It's because of what is involved. I just give an ins ins yeah. instance. Yeah, if I, if I want to travel outside Abuja, I need eight man band, and you spend mm. over one million for flight Nine. alone. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the sensitivity of Nigeria road, you will not allow us to go by road. Even if you follow the road before you get there, tired for like a whole day, you can't minister effectively. So we need to understand that you need to know what you can afford at that. If you're not capable of doing it, why not hold on mm -hmm. until God blesses you where you can do it? It's not, a, it's not wrong for you to invite an artist to come and be a blessing to your church. But if you're not capable to bring an artist who can charge you three million, four, five million, don't make them look like they're the sinners. No, it's you that's trying to put your hands where you have not got mm -hmm. to. Okay. Very yes, I think I, I just in the same line, honestly, my to the extent that a church, a church should go to whatever extent, even borrowing to invite, no, no, to invite an artist, no, just like you said, if you cannot afford, why do you have to go to that length? A lot of things are involved, but if you can afford, and then of course, you have a relationship with the artist or the artist wishes to come on his own mm -hmm. to minister. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I give you an instance. So, so I remember when I traveled with, uh, I traveled to uh, Calabar some years back with Samsung. And Samsung told me of an experience he had when he went to minister in the church. That how much they they didn't give him anything much. He may not remember the story if he's listened to me, but he went there. And when he went there after the ministration, somebody came and knelt down before him and was crying. Mm -hmm. And he said that before he came to that, uh, this, it was his friend that actually pushed him to come, that he was contemplating committing suicide. Wow. <clears throat> so after his ministration and all that, that he has seen every reason why he should, you know, leave. So Samson told me he prayed for him and all of that. So he told me, because it was a discussion I had with him, I like to have that kind of yeah. discussion when, yeah. I, when I sit down with them, you know, I like to have that kind of discussion so he said yes there are places that you just go you know they just invite your spirit just tells mm -hmm. you yeah, just go yeah. go and minister there may be somebody out there it may not be many people but mm -hmm. one soul yeah. that you minister to so if the church cannot afford you know why do you have to go and borrow except if there are other motives just the ones that you have identified uh, publicity winning membership and all that and which is of course which it means that that is wrong personally i feel that mm. that is wrong so we have to deal with that if it is that you are calling this person to come and minister to your people so that he has they, they have an encounter that i have identified that it is dependent on god why do you have to go to the extent of having to borrow money or to stress your people so mm. much to be <coughs> able to get that no if you cannot afford it if you cannot afford it then just just leave it okay so this is very clear um don't pressure your people if you can't afford it um you let it be and don't make it look like the gospel artists themselves are the ones yeah. who are giving an exorbitant uh, right. price beyond the reach of people um do we have are we going to open the phone lines now the number to call is um 081084 is it 17548 Am I right? 081084. Yeah, 47518. I'm sure you've been listening to us. Sorry, we are running late. The next program should uh, actually be on that way. Uh, we're having very wonderful discussions here with Reverend Father Shein and uh, Ima Onyx. Yes, we have a caller. I know there will be callers. Can I also get uh, my Facebook? Um, um, Hello. Hello, your name and where you're calling from? Okay, my name is Oba. I'm calling from Abuja. We are in Abuja. Uh, airport road. Airport road. All right. So you've had the discussion. You have you have some contribution. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, number one, I I agree with both uh, parties mm. on their own both perspective uh, on it. But at the same time, I also have a problem with also monetizing some things that relates to the church. Uh, like you said, really giving, really uh, you also give. Uh, so I think 
For me, I feel there should be a separation between professional as a music and also calling someone as a minister okay. when it comes to them. Yeah. If you're a music person, you're a music person. If you're a minister of God, you're a minister of God. What we are also saying is that that means for somebody that is also a pastor and uh, maybe a priest and is on a full-time on it, that means the person also have a right to go to anywhere and also put a bill or whatever on his own thing. So that's the reason why for me, I feel we should be able to separate the two. Professional music is professional music. That's what this person does for a living. Okay. A yeah. gospel minister is a gospel minister. This is what this person do to be able to be a blessing to other people. Mm -hmm. So when you are calling me to come and sing, you're only calling me because that's my career. I come in, I sing, I do whatever I, with my view. And when I'm also doing it like, okay, this is me, then there, there are two different things. That's just what I want us to be able to clarify about. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. That's a nice uh, contribution. Uh, for that Can you I want... say something yeah? about that? To the extent that you want to deliver your song very well, to the extent that, that you want to deliver your song very well, and that a lot of things are involved, you have to use the best of backup artists. You have to use the best of instrumentalists to deliver. That's that's. That's professionalism. That's professionalism. At the same time, you are ministering. Yes, and at the same time, you are ministering. So I think that, you know, we have, we have, so that we don't keep repeating ourselves, you know, over and over again. So you are actually yeah. saying that there is um, the, the line between professionalism and uh, ministering is thin, so to say. It's, it's not, not, not it's, 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 you can't it's different, you can't separate, not something you can separate, you can't separate a, a minister. Okay, we'll have another call as we, as we keep tinkering on this. Yes, hello. Good evening, Radio Mike. Good evening, your name and where you're calling from? Anyway, my name is Dutch Love from, from Area 1. Your name is who? Dutch Love. God's Love from Area 1. Yes, thank you. Okay, you have 30, min 30 seconds, we don't have much time, go ahead. I really want to appreciate all you from Sagashe in the studio over there. Okay. I've heard your discussion and I think um, we paying the song ministers is not a thing. Okay. It's part of their career and I think if we don't pay them, how do we expect them to meet up to some text of about their own life? Okay. I think the ministers, before we get jealous of them, they will borrow money. <laughs> to come and to come and uh, minister to us too. So giving them money according to how they choose to collect is part of their career, which God has blessed them. Okay. So if you decide to call Father Shay to my church to come and minister, and I give him by the grace of God, ten million naira at the end of this month. Yeah, but he has been praying for God. He won't say because he wants to minister and he, he denied the money or all he gets. Hmm. Wow. Then he don't know what he's doing too. Okay, thank you very much. Your point is very clear. We have another call. So she has no problem with remunerating yes. gospel. I'm sure that she will like this. <laughs> <laughs> she will proposing give you 10 million. Let's have bring that 10 million. to me where you get <laughs> that. that we have another caller. Yes, sir. Hello, Radio Mario. Good evening, please. Your name, where are you calling from? Evening, this is Joel calling from Kabusa. All right, so go ahead with your contribution. Okay, my question is, uh, must there be a bargain before the minister or the gospel minister would go out for ministration when invited? Emma, you can answer that question. Yeah, um, it depends. It's, it's an individual thing. Okay. Uh, we've mm -hmm. gone for there are, there are artists that have gone for programs that, that, was, that was, there's no agreement mm -hmm. and they gave them money that cannot even bring it down, they want to take them back to their houses. Okay. So it depends on who is involved. There are artists you call, they don't tell you this is what you are going to do, but they tell you I'm coming with this and that and yeah, that and that. Yeah, so it depends on, I'm not going to say it's wrong and I'm going to say, all I know is that it depends on who is involved. There are people, sometimes you need to know who you are dealing with. I've gone to churches that have called me for programs and I did not tell them a dime and they did well. And there are some churches that will call you, they will give you bank check and you have the bank check. Oh my God. Mm. You understand? Mm. Yes, mm. I have some bank check. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, I've seen churches that will call you because of the respect for the church and the man of God. Mm -hmm. You just go and they, what they will give you cannot even take, cannot even take you back to your house. It's not talk of settling your thing. 
So it depends. I don't want to go into you must or you must not. It depends on how so, you are being so led. So for the gospel that is not to be stranded, at least you should tell the person, sir, these yeah. are the basic yeah. cost of coming. I'm not even charging you for mm. this. These are the basic costs. What it will cost me? Transport, uh, logistics, accommodation, feeding to bring my people. This yeah. is what it will cost yeah. me. Yeah. You know, uh, sometimes you need to put that down so that then whatever the person is putting on top, that's what you might consider yeah. some kind of business. So the negotiation depends, like you said, uh, on who uh, is involved. And, and, involved. And for them, I think the negotiation is easier for you people. Though. But honestly, <laughs> based on my even if you have to negotiate based on my personal experience, you know, a priest, a priest doing music and you are being invited you to a church. You know, you cannot negotiate. You cannot. <laughs> yeah, you are being invited <laughs> to a church, you know. And oftentimes, it's, so it's it's quite a very, very difficult. Yeah. You have, just like I you like said, him, you have, you have to also come with some person. Yes, yes. you have people you are so coming with, for the you priest, are professional. For the priest, for the priest, this negotiation is even very necessary, like I said. Now you are not charging. I remember you made a point that you are not charging for the spiritual encounter. Yes, nobody can no, nobody can God. Can you know, God can decide to mm. use anybody to minister to yes. uh, someone. You can't pay for that. But for your logistics, it's very good. If yeah. if somebody is in Cardinal is invited you to come and minister in Cardinal, you are going with those number of people. You should be able to tell the person oh, yeah. confidently, courageously, and say, okay, um, Pastor or Father, if you cost me to bring my team and my things, if you cost me like two hundred thousand. Then our accommodation fees because sometimes even if you leave your accommodation and feeding to the people who are inviting you they may mess you up mm. actually Several so you should yeah. actually be able to negotiate for <laughs> something <laughs> modest but the point is that the, you know the, the 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 person that called and asked probably said um, that said uh, is he right for or already he knew the answer he knows he knows the answer he wants to tell us that it's wrong for artists to negotiate because no, I'm not sure. The person is open. He just wanted no, no, to I'm know. Let the person call again. I'm very, <laughs> no, very, I'm sure I'm the, very, very sure. No, I'm sure the person just had an open mind. <laughs> yeah, very, very, I'm very, very sure. You know? The person wants to tell her that it's not right for the person to charge. The point, you know, you 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 be making a particular point. Uh, tell the person, uh, let the person know the logistics. They have each yeah, People want to hear that as long as you are as a, you don't want to know. Uh, the the process or what the reason why you have been asking the person get this biggest thing done they will conclude that you are even even if you are not mentioning your money they are still going to tell you uh -huh. you are charging yeah. you are calling figure but the point is that uh, whoever that is going to invite you should understand that there are there are levels of honor you give to somebody who wants to come and equally honor you who want to leave his house come with his team so, so some people don't understand that they will still mess it up so it's like I said, it's left for individual to know where you are going to. Mm -hmm. I, 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 they don't have such integrity to keep the fact that you're not going to call uh, money or call a particular figure and they will maintain their integrity or they're going to mess it up. It depends on individual. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, another program is supposed to be on its way and the producers and technicians are already hurrying me out of this place i think mm. like i said today is not the conclusion of the yeah. matter like yeah. we're supposed to have a uh, solomon lange here on this thing but uh, he couldn't make it and uh, father robert too couldn't make it so i'm sure we're going to have these discussions again and continue mm -hmm. enriching and uh, educating um, ourselves so from what we've had this evening is it's, it's been uh, established by father shane and uh, a man that gospel um uh, gospel uh, song artists are ministers because god can use them to minister to somebody and uh, we know people who have received miracles just by attending uh, worship events right. you know like right. yeah. the uncommon praise right. yeah. the unusual praise the experience in lagos and all of that so for as long as god uses them and the song they do to minister to people either healing some people get breakthrough after such events so they are uh, ministers and since they fall into ministers also means that uh, the bible did not condemn the remuneration of ministers you know there are aspects of the bible that a minister should be remunerated but if the minister on his own decides to let go and forgo that is uh, also um, uh, grounded in the um, scripture and uh, what we have um, issues that we just have to keep looking at is like i said me personally i feel this is my personal opinion it's not a doctrine mm. Mm. me personally i have issue with um 
a professional artist because of the name and the fame he has made, being invited by another church on a Sunday, normal Sunday. You know, the Sunday is, remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy. Me professionally frown at that because I feel like that same gospel minister needs to be ministered to by his own local church. Not necessarily him ministering a song, but he needs to attend. Um, Sunday worship is um, is mandatory. It's one of the cause of our Christian this thing. So me me I don't feel that such pulling out a gospel minister from his local church because the, when you are going to minister, the pressure is on you. You are preparing, unlike when you are ministered to. So I feel that gospel artists, professionals, and those with fame should stay in their local church and worship, you know, for that Sunday. Then special events like uh, gospel explosion, this thing, and all of that. Of course, I've invited. Uh, I brought. Um, um, what's this woman's name? Um, Joma Jesus. I brought her to Abuja, mm. and we used to have such event. Gucci. I brought, and we paid, and all of that. So it's, we don't have problem uh, with all that. But I feel that. Um, uh, Sunday worship should still be maybe the discussion can um, you know still be expanded somehow and then we shouldn't do all this at the expense of charity local needs which was the context in which this came up and I'm glad they must say that if your church cannot afford a particular gospel minister don't pressure your people use the the people God has needed to minister to them in song whether the local choir or the band they can rehearse any of those songs very well and do it. But when, when God elevates your church, and you can easily do that without, um, you know, neglecting the other needs of the church. I think this is fine. I think we can agree that these are some of the points we have been able to, you know, come to agreement this evening. So I want to thank you, Reverend Father Shane, uh, for honoring us uh, uh, this evening and for your very, very, very wonderful contributions. Ima, I want to thank you. Uh, for coming, I will say congratulations on your new you, uh, single. Yeah. Maybe you should say a little word about that. So of course, even the radio Maria okay, um, has played it. Okay, it's actually a title is show up. Uh, we can agree with me that uh, it does uh, any time, any moment uh, you ever need God is the moment of your life that you are in now. Uh, that mm. we're asking God to show up for us because um, we said about it, don't let the world ask us where is our God. Uh, you know, people are passing through a lot of things, sickness a lot of things in the world we are in and whether we like it or not as long as we are here on earth uh, those tribulations are well, about to happen yeah, yeah. so yeah. but we don't need to do our, our confidence our our rescue or w the more like a, a, a better place we can run to is only god who we will ask him to show up in our needs and may god show up in our lives so. in jesus name amen. 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 amen what's up for you your last album was was it last year <laughs> last two years Last two, three years. Last three years. Are but you, I'm, I'm, are you I'm, cooking yes. up something? I'm cooking up, cooking something. up something. I'm planning okay. something for next year. So it might take note. <laughs> take <laughs> note of this. No, <laughs> All <laughs> right. So thank you, guys. Thank you for coming. Mm. Thank you to our listeners out there. I hope that this discussion has enriched you a little bit more. And uh, we'll continue with the conversation. I want to thank my producers, Dera, uh, Lupe. I want to thank my technicians, Thomas. Emeka and Chibuzo for making this go live on social media. God bless you all. Keep listening to Radio Maria and you will be blessed. Thank you.